Hey guys, today I have something different for you. I want to show you a nice free online app that allows you to create all sorts of collages. I know not everybody has Photoshop and even if you do have uh, Photoshop, sometimes it's a lot faster to just use uh, one of these apps to create, um, to create a nice photo uh, collage or um, that kind of uh, that kind of thing. So the app that I want to show you is called PhotoJet. The website is PhotoJet.com. You can see it right here. And when you get to the site, you will see uh, there's two kind of uh, tools. Let's call them. You can create two kind of collages here: the classic and the creative. The difference between the two is that on the classic you can change the layout, and I'll show you that right now. Let's start with the classic collage. Um, let's wait for the app to load and here you will see a ton of templates of layouts and as I said the difference between this and the creative is that you can change as you can see the layout here you can make it however you want for example if you want to make a wallpaper or a HD format you can see down here you also have the ratios 16 by 9 which is the classic which is the HD format also if you want for example to make an Instagram post uh, you can choose the one by one ratio um, Instagram now supports uh, landscape and portrait format photos not just square photos but now uh, you can do that if you want you can also choose the borders and here on the right side you will you have this um, bar here where you can add photos let's delete this sample photos and add my own. I will use some uh, sample photos that I downloaded from unsplash.com. You can also load photos from Facebook. I don't have Facebook, but you can do that if you if you have. And the cool thing about this is that once you load the, all your photos here, you can autofill this with all of, well with random photos. If you click again, you will add random photos from this. Here on the top, on the left sidebar, where you can see all these layouts, you can choose these numbers here are the numbers of photos that um, these layouts have. So you can filter for five photos only, or just uh, three photos, or eight plus photos. So um, let's start with a four. Uh, let's work with this and maybe choose this template. Also, the cool thing about it is that, for example, if I choose a layout that has less photo, three, it will still have it will still keep the photos here if I use another template that has five photos for example uh, it will leave these gaps and I can choose autofill and it will fill this um, you can change uh, the aspect of this just by dragging and uh, clicking and dragging which is really cool and really helpful each photo can be adjusted so you can crop this uh, if you click this icon here when when you select the photo you will see this little uh, bar um, popping up and if you click the crop you will basically zoom in on a photo and then you can move it up and down you can also add effects so you can add filters uh, let's select this one and let's make this uh, like that and this like this and maybe move this towards the right let's apply a filter to this photo so just select it click this icon right here on the effect and here you can change uh, the filter the aspect of it and you can have also some um, advanced settings to change the contrast of the photo the, the exposure uh, the opacity if you want to make it blend with the background the saturation you can turn it black and white so you have a few uh, nice um, settings here which allow you to change the aspect of your photo you can also flip it or rotate it or flip it vertically horizontally and all that kind of uh, of controls that's basically what you can do with the photos here. You can also change the background of this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just here on the left side, you can choose background and you can choose a solid color or you can choose textures. Uh, you have a few textures here or you can choose your own image. You can uh, select your own image from, the, from your computer and you can add it here. You can also add clip arts. Uh, let's leave this texture here. You can add clip arts. You have a few... Uh, Quite a few ones actually let's add this one for example and then you can of course you can make them bigger or smaller let's leave it right here and rotate it a bit 
and you can also add text of course you have a few templates for text but you can modify it to your liking let's start with this one and uh, let's place it right there and rotate it and if you click this a you will open the font editor and you can also browse the fonts that you already have on your computer if you choose yours uh, you will see a list of all the um, all the fonts that you have on your computer and these are the fonts that are here online on the app you can also change the color of course let's leave it uh, this dark gray and here you will see uh, um, another icon that says layer this is to uh, organize this you can uh, move it on on the, on the top or on the bottom and uh, just organize uh, the layers here you also have uh, an effect and uh, if you choose the effect you can add outline or glow on your text and you can change that uh, you cannot add shadow the only way to add a shadow is to use the glow and use a dark tone here and then just increase the radius and that's pretty much it and with this other icon you can duplicate or you can simply delete that uh, it's pretty straightforward it's just not really complicated uh, the best thing of all is that you can drag and drop and you can uh, simply drag to um, create the layout that you want um, one other thing that you can do here on the layout is change the the corners you can add round corners on your photos see this and of, of course you can also change the the, um, the border between the photos so you can leave none and have something like this or uh, you can increase it a bit and that's uh, that's how uh, the classic works. If you want to save it, simply click the save icon, the save link here, and you can change the quality. Obviously, you would choose high, uh, and here you can choose the size of of the final of the final image. Let's go to the creative, which is a bit more fun. Um, let's go to the creative. It will ask you if you want to save, uh, which is I will choose no. Okay, on the creative part you have a few pre-made templates and you can you can see you have uh, you have them separated to collages social media um, others photo cards and and stuff like that for example you have on social media you can create your own facebook cover you can create uh, you have an even instagram post but um, as i said with the classic you can also have uh, you can also do that and the cool thing about it is the amount of templates that you have you can um, quickly um, you can cl quickly create a, a nice uh, image and have this text which you can change uh, so there are some parts that cannot be changed for example this one I think this is a actually a vector but um, all the um, when you select an item if you see this a it's because you can change the font you can change the text um, but this one for example you cannot change it's simply a, just an image um, let's see more templates uh, YouTube cover this is for um, for your YouTube videos if you want to create a, a YouTube video you can create uh, this uh, this video covers uh, again you have a few templates here which you can use they're really nice and this autofill feature is quite cool as well let's see more uh, you can also create Google, uh, Google Plus covers, Twitter headers. Um, for example, let's take a look at at a Christmas card um, and see the templates that you have here. Um, for example, let's start with this one and add this photo, drag it right here. And you can change the text and uh, change the year and uh, all that kind of things backgrounds can be changed as well so everything is uh, customizable it's a really cool app um, with a lot of templates and it allows you to create some really nice uh, some really nice image i hope you will like it and that's all for today thanks for watching